What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk a little bit about Samsonov, Nylander, Carlson, and more. Let's dig in. Welcome to the Samwell B12 Experience, where we have you covered for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Blue Jays, and more. So here we go. All right, it's time to talk about it. We're going to kick it off on today's show, discussing Ilya Samsonov. That's right, Samsonov. He has filed for arbitration. He has his hearing date. It is set for July 21st. Now, Toronto and Samsonov have up to the hearing date to come to a conclusion on what his salary should be. But if they don't, it will go into the hearing in front of the arbitrator. They'll discuss it and they'll have an outcome. Now, this is also a significant date because once July 21st comes, the hearing happens and everything is taken care of. It opens up a second round of buyouts for the Maple Leafs. They will then have that ability to buy out Matt Murray or anyone else they choose to, to free up some cap space. So July 21, circle that on your calendar. It is a big date. Now in other Toronto Maple Leaf goaltending news, they are looking at Brian Elliott. Now, if you're not familiar with Brian Elliott, he spent the last couple seasons in Tampa Bay. He is looking to be brought in kind of as that third stringer, right? You have Samson off as number one, hopefully. Then you got Joseph Wall and then Brian Elliott. He'd probably look to sign somewhere around the 900K marker. He was 12, 8, and 2 last season, putting up an 0.891 save percentage in 22 games with Tampa Bay. So I don't kind of hate this move, but I hate it at the same time. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Brian Elliott potentially coming to Toronto as a third stringer. Now the big news, the William Nylander news. We've talked about Nylander over the past couple of days, but this is a big one that's heated up. First, it looked like he was going to Calgary. Now there's big conversations between the San Jose Sharks and the Toronto Maple Leafs about possibly a deal, including Carlson, Eric Carlson, coming to Toronto and Nylander being a big part of that package. Now, salary-wise, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. It depends what other pieces are in this puzzle. Carlton is set to make $11.5 million through the 26-27 season. He's currently 33 years of age. So at 33, we got a few more years left on his deal. At 11.5, that is another massive contract to bring to Toronto. How is that going to work in? Well, if they can get a good deal with San Jose and San Jose retains... 25 or 50 percent of that Carlson contract that would work and would be excellent so we're gonna have to look at some of the other pieces that come around this so again leave a comment let me know would you like to see Eric Carlson in Toronto we know Nylander is probably not going to be here he's on his way out the door so would that be a great replacement would that give us the d-man we've wanted is Eric Carlson that fit now just to give you a piece of what Eric Carlson has done last year in 82 games, 25 goals, 76 assists, 101 points, and he was a minus 26. But 101 points is a standout. He had a career year last year. If you look back over the previous years with the Sharks, 35 points, 22 points, 40 points, 45 points. If you go back to his days in Ottawa, 62 points, 71 points. He had a previous high of 82 points. So he really has been around that 40, 45 point marker and then all of a sudden exploded last year. So was it worth the risk on Carlson? Can he have another year putting up 100 points? Is he worth $11.5 million? I want to know what you have to say, and we're going to be back to discuss it very soon. For Sam at the Samwell B12 family, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, be part of our community, and we'll see you real soon.